Hi, right, welcome back everyone. Um, this is part one of our Stardew Valley series. Um, in today's episode, we have a few goals. Um, first thing we're going to do is just start the project. So I'm going to create a new project, uh, OpenGLC ES2.0. Um, let me just pick where I'm going to put it. I'm going to put it... Actually, whoops, desktop, where'd it go? Yes. Back. I think I should just be able to... Nope, that didn't work. Okay, I'll just put it in my downloads folder for now. And then I will call it... Stardew... Let's call it um, Farming Project YT for YouTube. I will create folder, create an edit. And here we go. I'm going to go into my 2D scene and I'm going to create a 2D scene right away. And we're just going to go right into creating the main menu for it. Um, I'm going to save it to the main scene and drag this on. And what I want to do, the first thing I want to do before anything, this is a really important, we're going to change the import settings. So we're going to preset 2D pixel and then re-import, obviously. And then we're also going to set as default for texture. So now whenever I import a new part into my game, it'll set it proper. It'll import it properly. Now I'm going to go to my project settings. I'm going to go to window and I'm just going to half everything. So do divided by two. I'm also going to set this um, to two times that size, and that's 600. So the test width and test height, if you don't already know, is the actual width and height of the um, project I get, I have. So this, this actual um, thing right here, as you can see. Um, and the, the other stuff is the actual size of it. So the, the real size of the stuff that we put in, right? So if I do this, it'll pop out right there. Um, next thing we're going to do, um, we're going to delete the icon. And now I'm going to import our project art. So in our in my in the description, I have a lot of stuff. Um, what I'm going to be using is the Sproutlands um, sprite pack. So this is the free one. Um, there is a paid version. You I encourage you to buy it. Um, the artist for it is pretty cool. There's a lot of cool stuff they, they have. Um, and yeah, so I'm just going to import it by dragging them in. I'm going to create a new folder, call it art. Drag both of this in. No, actually, let's delete that. Um, I'm going to rename this to UI. And then I'm going to keep this as it's. Um, let's actually drag that out. Ooh, we can't do that. Okay, we'll leave it like that. That's fine. Um, next thing I'm going to do is we're going to add a button to do a normal button, and this is going to be our play button. And what we can do is we can go into objects. No, I lied. Okay, there's no separate objects, unfortunately, so we can't do that. Um, okay, next thing I wanted to do is we're going to create a kinematic body, save it, and this is going to be our player. Oops. New folder, player. And next thing we're going to do, sorry about that, just tighten my mic. Next thing we're going to do is save it, sorry, save it into the player folder. So here we have our player. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to create our world scene. So I'm going to name this to world, save it, and I'll save it in the main folder. And in here, I'm going to immediately add a Y sort. And this is where our player is going to be. So I'll name it player. Um, and then in this Y sort, we're going to drag our player in. And there's nothing in our player yet. So what we're going to do is add a collision shape. That's the first thing. And then we want to actually give it a shape. We'll give it a little capsule. And then we'll add an animated sprite. And then in this animated sprite, we'll do new frame. We'll go into that frame. And then this will be idle. We'll add a new one. This will be run. And that is it. So let's go to our player and check out what we have. 
Ooh, not that one. Let me actually drag that in. And then I can delete that folder. Ooh, where'd it go? There it is. Drag it to the wrong folder. All right, player, character. Um, so for our run, ooh, sorry. We're going to actually, we're going to actually learn how to use animation player. So animation player on the bottom, there we go. I'm going to do new, I'm going to do title. And in this one, it's very simple. Um, in order to actually use animation player, what we're going to want to do is add a normal sprite. So sprite, and then I'm going to drag in the texture, this guy. So this is our texture that we're going to use for our player. We're going to go to animation and H frame. I'm going to set us four and four. Oh, four. There we go. So now we have our little guy here. And what we're going to do is we're going to key this frame. So that is our idle frame. Um, now we're going to do walk down. And then we're going to key all of these. So let's go zoom in a little bit, go to 0 0.2, go to frame one, next, next, next. And we'll kind of separate it out a little bit. I'll do 0 0.6. And then we can kind of drag everything in words a little bit. And so this is what our animation frame looks like for our walk down. And then we'll loop it by clicking this little guy. We'll add another one. It'll be um, walk up. And then we're going to do the same thing for this guy. Go to number frame form number four. Go outwards, mm -hmm. click up. And that's it. Um, for this one, I'll do 0 0.4. I'm actually going to do the same thing for walk down. I'm going to set that to 0 0.4. Click it, 0 0.4, um, 0 0.1, 0 0.3. Awesome. Create a new one. Walk left, I believe. And then for here, we're going to go to frame 8. Key that. Go to 0 0.1. Go to frame 9. Uh, key, key, key. Awesome. Uh, oh, change the time to 0 0.4. Last thing um, I want to make a note of is I'm going to add a walk right. Some, however, some um, animated sprite textures might not have a right or left. There might only be one of them. Right? The reason being is because it's the exact same thing just on the other side, right? So what you can do later on is essentially if I'm walking to the right, I can play the left walk, just um, mirror it so that way we, we can flip our, our sprite, right? So this one will just have the white walk right animation, which is fine. So we'll do walk right. There we go, 0.4, awesome. Now we have a bunch of stuff. I don't want this, so I'm gonna actually delete this. Um, and now in our player, we're going to add a player script, and then we're going to remove all this. And when function ready, we're going to actually create a um, player node to do that. Player animation equals script. Uh, we can do the key animation player player animation dot play idle. So we will play the idle animation every every time we run the game. So now, if I run the game, uh, play. Ah, we didn't actually make it work yet. So let's code that. Um, main menu scripts. Add it. We're just going to add it to the main folder. Um, in our button, we'll rename it to play. We'll connect it to the script. So if it's pressed, we will get tree dot change scene to world. And now if we play it, play. There's our player. Um, one thing I think I have to change is. Let's change this back to that. 
Ooh, interesting. I think in order for this to take effect, oh, I see what's going on. Okay, I want to change this to 2D aspect keep. And then that is it. Now let's relaunch it. Okay, so that's why our game was kind of zoomed out a little bit. Um, let's center this a little bit. And then we'll kind of make it bigger. Play. There's our player. Um, now let's go to our project settings and change this back to the same size. So it's 600. That's what I'm going to do. Um, you can do whatever you want, but that's what I like. Play, and there's a player. Awesome. Um, that is it for today. Um, we have added a very simple player. And next, in the next video, I'm just going to rename this. Um, we'll actually make our player move. We'll animate it. Um, we might actually learn states. Um, I think for the sake of this series, we're going to be using states um, a lot in order to go through the whole farming system and, and that kind of thing. Um, I think it's a very good concept to, to learn, especially if you're not majoring in, in, in coding stuff because it is something good to learn and it's kind of common in many languages. Um, so yeah, um, thanks for watching guys. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Um, I will, I also plan, I will continue with this series, but I also do plan on adding new videos that have different things. So I'll give kind of tips and tricks on things that I learned about Godot and um, those kind of things. So that'll be interesting to think of. Um, not too sure yet what I'm going to do exactly for that yet because I still have to think of it. But if you guys um, want to see that, hit the subscribe button, like, and comment on the video. Thanks, guys.